All right, guys, so the update 31 is finally out, and let's talk about Geraldo and all of his abilities and the items that he sells. So the first item is a permanent crossbow turret, and while we have four of them when he's maxed, keep in mind that a lot of these items will get restocked, so six is the maximum number, I believe. The stack of old nails is similar to the road spikes, but it's a stronger version of them that later applies a DPS effect and does more damage. The creepy idol is a totem that can be placed on the ground, and when placed, it releases pulses around itself, which blow back some of the blooms. The pickle jar is the first buff which we can use on a tower and it will give it plus one damage but it'll make it attack a bit slower so consider this like a mini alg buff which expires after a few rounds but overall it's looking like a very strong and value item. The Quincy action figure appreciates with time so basically we buy it for about $600 and it gains the value over time. Now the catch here is that the longer we wait to buy it the more expensive it gets so we really want to buy this thing as early as possible, keep it for as long as possible and then sell it to get a lot of money for it. The scene visibility potion is pretty straightforward to gives camel detection to a tower and makes them do extra damage to camel balloons later on. And the tube of glue is also very straightforward, it's just a glue spill on the ground that will slow balloons and will affect Moab glass balloons later on. Now the sharpening stone buff is permanent but it only works on darts and tacks and all sorts of dart shooting towers. So what this means is that we can use it on the heli pilot for example but it will only have its effect up until tier 4 and when you upgrade the tower to tier 5 the buff is going to disappear. The hero cape is a very cool one, it transforms a tier 2 dart monkey or below into a super monkey but you can only upgrade it to tier 3 which I guess the price kind of makes up for it. The blade trap is a maelstrom ability which triggers whenever blooms come in range but we only have 5 of these items in total and it disappears after use so you gotta use them wisely. The next one is a bottle of hot sauce and this summons a genie around your tower which can pop blooms whenever they enter the tower's radius but apparently this thing wears off only after a few rounds. Now this next one is a very cool one and super useful. It's the fertilizer which can be used used once on a farm and that farm's bananas are now going to be worth 25% more which really is a lot of extra money since it works in all tiers. Now the pet bunny is actually a bunny paragon, sort of. So when you buy all four of the bunnies they will all merge into this big one that attacks blooms in a radius around Geraldo. Now the catch with this one is that we can only have two of them in stock at all times and we need four of them to make the bunny paragon. Now the shop gets restocked at level 20 so make sure to buy them as soon as they're available so you can get this later on. The Ridge of Potion restores 50 lives and resets your ability cooldowns and the Genie Bottle is actually a very strong one. It summons this little ghost thingy which attacks the balloons for us and while it only lasts only for a few rounds it is a lot stronger than anything we've had so far. And the Paragon Power Totem increases the power of each Paragon by 5000 points so basically you buy these before making your next Paragon and they'll get absorbed by it and you will get additional degrees. So that's it for Geraldo, the most complicated hero we've had so far with not only a lot of items to sell different durations and effects but the items also change and evolve as he gains levels so a lot to unpack but for now thanks for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one